All right. Here we go. Come along, bro. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor room. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? Apple juice? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. It probably takes a while, though. Ugh. And that can't be a good smell. No. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. Uh, what are you What's trying to imply? Oh, huh? nothing. Because I didn't give you it's any Just food? a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Drug Lee store. showed up when he did. Oh, yeah. Drug right, store. Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where Whoa. are you from? Uh, uh, uh yeah. Water ends my home now, I guess. Hmm. Well, that place seen better days, huh? We've actually made it pretty secure. I like that alarm system you made. That's pretty smart. Y'all like, seem damn pretty right settled like that it. motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? Ah, it's a democracy. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Um. Yeah, let's change the well, subject. Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. They're trying to. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Watch it. Get down. Get down. Get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pumping this shit. bandits. Who? Bandits. Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it off the Yeah, you do. Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? It's got crossbow. Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered. I want that. Happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh, no. <gasps> oh, shit. Fuck Shoot him. Fuck He's tick. Oh, my God. Hectic. <laughs> it's a ninja. The ninja shot him. Shit. Come on. Let's Goddamn ninjas. Why didn't you shoot him? They already. Sh oh, the zombie's gonna be coming from everywhere now. Tits! St. John Family Dairy. Whoa, look at that farm. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. Dairy. The fence keeps them out? Touch it, I dare you. You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, oh wow. that sounds you like a You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. Was that Ursula? Hectic. Oh, shit. Oh, God. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Ursula, go Guys, back to the Atlantic Ocean. I'm St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel, round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? See? Uh, we work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Oh, oh, thank you. Uh, we brought That's gasoline. What happens. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're starved. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Nice. Holy moly. What? How did... Sorry. 
Can't get <laughs> stuff like that anymore. Talk about? Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet, but we can what? bring her here. Fucking help you folks out. Excuse you. A vet? Jesus Christ. Oh, mama, our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. Oh, that sounds real nice good. That's that, 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 that. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Danny looks so unimpressed why don't by I everything that happened and round up everyone for the trip back here. Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take yeah, this. Ben will help you. All right. See you later. Help you get killed. What was that look? Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. Oh no. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the gym. Hold up, this guy was in the drive. preview. Don't get me when you're ready. You betcha. And you got this hit by an arrow. This place is incredible. It's got food. Oh, Mark, that you're gonna fence. die. Sorry. Man, Just that heads up. Fence. If we play you're our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Play it like you're going down. Uh, make sure it's Before safe. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, I don't to trust these out guys. This place is so. as safe as they're telling us. Right. Yeah. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. I like definitely can't stay here. There's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Hmm. All right, let's go. We'll turn it up. Over here. Check this out. See if you got a story. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Oh. Kids used to like that old swing even oh, so more you, than Lee. the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I'm Mind trying if I'm to fix it? it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks That's like what? it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. And for you as well, your special alone time, Lee, where you get to play with yourself. Where the hell am I meant to go? Ah! What is this? A fence? Pointy. Mmm, pointy. <laughs> Very observational, Lee. On the board. This is too big right now. But if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Uh -huh. All right. What about this? Hmm. Mm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Cut Already it making up. some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. We just had a yeah, talk about the swing, right you dumbass. You, your ass is dumb. Nice. Did it repair itself this time? Like last time? No. Good. 